Hello, um, I'm Sal Ritaka. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of the Academy and uh, I'm also the president of the Leonardo da Vinci Academy. Um, we founded this school uh, in 1983 and uh, what we have here uh, today, um, many years later, is a, is a school that offers Montessori programming for ages 3 to 6, uh, an Italian immersion preschool that's also Montessori based, uh, an, early an early elementary program for uh, uh, grades 1 through 3, and then we have uh, programs that are traditionally based. They, they, they're enriched programs, but they, uh, they follow the, the Ontario curriculum uh, all the way up to grade 8. When uh, Dom Tassielli and I founded this school back in 1983, we had a vision for a school uh, where um, children would be challenged uh, to be who they were, to be the best they could be. Uh, and it was a school that, that uh, we felt um, the name of Leonardo da Vinci Academy best represented uh, uh, what we wanted our, our students to aspire to. One unique aspect of our school is that it embraces a thinking like Leonardo approach to learning, uh, which is an approach uh, that's guided by uh, uh, seven dimension principles that inspire natural curiosity and uh, um, intrinsic thinking skills. Uh, the purpose is to prepare the students for a meaningful life and for future learning. Something that we do at the school on a regular basis is uh, our Leonardo's Challenges. These are uh, activities planned by various teachers throughout the year. They all have a chance to plan a uh, Leonardo's Challenge. But basically, uh, these are challenges to students and sometimes teachers participate, uh, where students are really um, encouraged to think outside the box. Sometimes there are problems that really involve uh, different type of thinking skills. Uh, basically what we're trying to do with these challenges is show uh, the children, and they have fun doing it, uh, how to think like Leonardo. Uh, one of our administrators, our academic head, Mrs. Lee, greets the children as they come in uh, in the morning. Uh, we try and keep uh, uh, communication with parents ongoing. We have newsletters, we have a, a Leonardo Academy Parents Association. Uh, and it's important to us that, that home and school work as a team. Language is a very important component of any program. At the Leonardo da Vinci Academy, uh, all our students uh, will eventually have studied Italian all the way through to grade 8. It's uh, starting in grade 1, uh, it's part of their curriculum, it's part of their program, it's not an option. As is French, so uh, our students in a sense starting in grade 1, they're doing French, Italian and of course uh, English is the main language. So they acquire, in fact, a very strong component for, for the languages. That part of the brain that's processing language is exercised and even children, uh, even their English, even their, the, the children's English uh, is, in, is enhanced because of that, because they're studying other languages uh, by grade three, by grade four, we find that children with more than one language uh, their English is much better. Leonardo da Vinci Academy has a, a just by virtue of its name, has, has to have a, a, a strong focus on the arts as well. Uh, we believe again that in part of the da Vinci principles is uh, right brain, left brain, uh, they both need to be nurtured and uh, the arts becomes an important component of, the, of that. Music especially is one of those areas where both sides of the brain are engaged at the same time. So we, we believe in, 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 in um, exposing children to music uh, at an early age and it's an important part of our programming as well. As is fine art and drawing and allowing them to be creative. Uh, so uh, we do have a strong science and math program but that's balanced with a strong arts program as well. To me it was obvious uh, that Leonardo da Vinci was, was one of those uh, that we would name the school after. Um, and then at that time most of the schools uh, were collegiates or school was used uh, and, and we were inspired by, by Plato's Academy and that's where the, the academy part came from uh, in the sense that uh, school of higher learning 
uh, logic was important and the pursuit of truth was important. So really, um, what inspired us, the people that inspired us uh, were Leonardo da Vinci, of course, uh, Plato, and then later on uh, the teachings and the, and the, uh, the methodology of Maria Montessori. So really those three people were the ones that we, we were inspired by. Uh, and it was a natural marriage for us to marry the, uh, the, method, the methodology of Maria Montessori with, the, with our own school's thinking like Leonardo approached to learning. So this is what we have here today. We have a beautiful blend of, uh, of uh, philosophies that work well together and, and uh, for the purpose of furthering uh, the growth of children. I would invite you to uh, go to the website and um, read about the principles. I think most educators uh, will see the value in those and will see how they really um, integrate what's, what's natural in the learning process and how we, we incorporate those in our, in our teaching, in our school, uh, to help further the child's own potential.